Hi everyone. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove overfilled oil um, from this truck using uh, this syringe tube and this nylon um, hose. This is the same hose that they use for aquariums without opening the, uh, the drain plug or getting under the, the truck at all. So everything that I'm gonna be doing um, right now is gonna just be involving putting this down to the dipstick um, rod, I guess, or the, the, the stick that, that the dipstick goes to. I'm just gonna put this all the way in and, um, um, and then suck it up uh, little by little using this syringe until the uh, oil level is correct. Here are the parts that I'm using uh, in the video. So I bought this from Amazon and uh, this is a, uh, a two piece. Uh, it comes with two syringe and then two sets of hose. The hose are extremely long. They're 47 inches long and definitely enough uh, for it to go all the way down to the engine, um, to the uh, oil pan actually at the very bottom. And uh, so we can actually suck it up. Um, I also have uh, just a use container uh, for a water bottle that I'm just going to dump the uh, oil to. Um, and uh, that's about it. And then just some napkins. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the vehicle is parked at a level surface. And uh, it will be better if the oil is actually warm. So we want to make sure that all the oil actually goes to the bottom of the pan and um, but not um, uh, don't wait uh, immediately like right after you shut up the engine and you park don't wait uh, don't, don't do it immediately wait about at least 15 minutes before you do this procedure to give time for the oil all the oil to actually go down to the drain pan once you are already uh, done waiting Okay, so first thing that you want to do is make sure that your vehicle is parked in a um, flat surface level so that uh, when we're taking measurement of the oil level that it's not uh, off because the vehicle is not uh, level. And the um, second thing is that uh, you can actually do this while the vehicle is uh, hot but just make sure if you just drove the vehicle, wait 15 minutes for all the oil actually to uh, go down to the drain pan so that you can have a proper measurement okay so I'm gonna um, take out the, the dipstick right now and then do my first measurement okay so the first measurement um, the first pull you're not gonna care about uh, and I'm not gonna go over how to really properly read the uh, oil but uh, the only thing that you need to do is pull it out clean it and then pull it uh, push it back in okay push it all the way in I usually count about three seconds before I pull it back out okay and then when you pull it back out you will try to see where the oil level is at Right now, this, this truck is way overfilled. That's why I need to reduce some of this oil, okay? Okay, so this is where the tube that the dipstick was into. And what I'm gonna do is take the hose and then just going to stick it in there all the way down until I cannot stick it in anymore. Make sure when you're doing this, the engine is not super hot because it will melt this particular hose and you're gonna, you're gonna ruin your engine if you do that. All right, so now that it's all the way down, um, actually I've made a mistake, hang on a second. I didn't put the plunger all the way down, you see that? So I am going to disconnect my hose really quick. Just pull it out right there. Okay, and put my plunger all the way down and then reattach it back again just like that and then now we're ready 
we're ready to start pumping out. So here we go. So just little pulling it out. You see that? The oil is already coming out. So I'm just gonna slowly bring the oil up. It's getting kind of heavy. Uh, after you have some oil already in the line, you're kind of pulling the the oil, all the oil in the hose together when you're pulling up the plunger. So, but just uh, just keep pulling, and then re and then the, I'm going to show you how to uh, squeeze the hose and and dump it in the bottle. Okay, so that's about pretty full and uh, what we want to do is squeeze it right about an inch before the end here and uh, tilt this bottle back and there is a screw here so I can unscrew it. Okay, so once I unscrew it, this part comes out, and I'm gonna dump this one to the. I'm gonna dump this oil to the bottle. And while I have to hold this side right here, so let me pause the video real quick. All right, so I'm trying to do this all by myself, and uh, so here is the. Uh, I'm still holding the the uh, hose and I'm now dumping the oil to my container Okay, bring it all the way down and make sure you're not dripping. All right, set this aside for now. Make sure it doesn't spill and then open this back up and screw it back. Just a simple like a uh, half twist will do it okay and make sure you're all the way down again so push the host all the way down again and start pumping again so basically you repeat this process for as many times as you need uh, to take out as much oil as you need depending on how overfilled your car or truck is Okay, next you want to do is uh, put this hose, uh, this used hose, you may need it later in case that the, uh, the oil reading says that you haven't pulled enough, you're going to need to have to have this later. So I'm just putting this in a Home Depot uh, plastic bag and uh, just keeping it aside but making sure that it doesn't drip. Okay, unfortunately, uh, I still haven't pulled enough oil out, so I'm putting this uh, hose back in, and so that I can pump uh, probably about six syringes, so about 600 millimeter more of oil. Yeah, I didn't do it. This is a used truck, and uh, whoever, actually the dealer, put in this much more oil um, into the crankcase. I don't know why but it's crazy. So let's just fix it.
finish uh, pulling out all the oil and actually um, right now I'm in the process of uh, putting uh, some additive back to the engine um, anyhow so I'm done with the process the um, the technique worked perfectly um, I got a lot of oil out of the engine I got probably about a quart and a half maybe almost two quarts which is crazy uh, that they actually overfill by this much oil but anyway I'm glad that I did um, and I just want to show you guys this package this is the uh, uh, the syringe this is a jumbo syringe with the hose so I bought this on Amazon and I'll put the link in the description if you would like to get one of these this costs uh, eight dollars something eight dollars something with prime uh, with free shipping and it came in just one day uh, amazing anyway you can buy this DP um, set it comes with two two syringe two hoses I only just used one so far it's a single use product so you can only use it once I guess you can use it again if you're just gonna use it for the same purpose like you're just gonna use it for uh, another oil or um, overflow pulling out scenario you can use the same um, syringe again but uh, for a different purpose please make sure that you use this brand new one it came sealed you see it came sealed you have to break the seal or cut it open all right well thank you for watching I hope this video has been helpful uh, if you have an overflow oil situation I hope that uh, uh, this perfectly fit your situation like it did mine um, I'm actually glad that I did this instead of going under the truck and opening the drain plug and getting oil spill all over me and then having to struggle to put that uh, drain plug back on when the oil is actually spilling over that's crazy this actually worked and um, hopefully it worked for you and thank you for watching bye thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do it